All right, guys. Hello, welcome to another Sky Blue Simulation stream. My name is Sky Blue, aka Drew, and uh, we're gonna be participating in this bat sim event in Minneapolis, from Minneapolis, and to Minneapolis. In this case, we're gonna go uh, use this Airbus A321 in Delta colors. Flight is 2642 from Minneapolis to Green Bay. Just a 47-minute flight, really quick, and the 31,000 feet. So we'll have to set up the aircraft, but um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started, guys. So. APU area is clear, chocks are uh, set, and landing gear doors are checked as well. Flow, you can break on, engines off. Auto, auto, it's down, it's on, one on bat, buzzing along in the air boss. Hey, Saka Shetzel, welcome back, man. Thanks for stopping by. Yep. All right, so let's get this uh, over with then. Now, yeah. all right, so initial flight number A320-211 CFM engine cycle 2201. It's going to be from KMSP to KGRB, and it's going to be the uh, 26 DAL 2642. Okay, so recall, no messages, door, hydro, oh, no, no, status the aircraft is normal. We've accepted the aircraft for what it is. So let's go ahead and get the airfield data before doing the APU fire test. All right, so let's go ahead and get the ATIS. I just got this. Information Kilo. Let's go to Annapolis Clearance. Annapolis Clearance Delivery. Hello, Delta 2642. Information Kilo, IFR, Green Bay. Delta 2642, Annapolis Clearance. Cleared the Green Bay Airport. Wellstone 7 departure. Green Bay transition direct. Climb via SID, except maintain 7000. Departure frequency 124.7. Squawk 4554. Delta 2642, clear Green Bay, Wilson 7, departure, Green Bay transition, then direct, climb via SID, accept, maintain 7000, departure frequency 124.7, squawk 4554. One two one point nine or double twenty six forty two. Okay, one two one point nine. All right, here we go. So seven thousand. APU fire test. Okay, hold on. APU fire test. Okay, we'll get the APU later on. Temperature is minus 11. Oh, okay. Uh, have any clouds in use? Uh, any clouds, rather? 5G, no TAMS in effect for MSP. Hazard 2988. Clear skies, all right. So, okay, recall, doors, hydraulics, engine, status of the aircraft is normal. It's just selected, parking brake is on. Ground from cockpit, confirm chalk set. Chalk set, we'll do a braking test. Alternate braking test. Parking brake off. Okay, parking brake is on. Gen 1 and 2 in Amber, emergency equipment, package, uh, flash lights, escape reps. Metering effect, contact me, that's 
62.9 Block fuel is 6,000 Alright, let me just focus for a bit here Four. Hand control push button on Int CVR test Captain Nav 1 Strobe lights auto uh, We've done refueling, let's get him out Econ flow, yeah, it's a really low number of passengers today. One and two off, one and two on. Engine one fire test. Engine two fire test. There. Shift three. One, two. There we go, never mind. Uh, T skid. Here, switching. First leave is idle. Cockpit door test. Mm, Merry Christmas. Okay, engines off. Fire can break on. Gravity here. Extension stowed. One above auto. Light plan. Alright, let's get our uh, work done before we do anything else. Plan 20 constraints. So we do have the QNH of 2988. Most in 7, we've been clear for that. Alright, minus 11, 10 more minutes with that kind of temperature, it'll shovel down to an A319. <laughs> hey, maybe even even uh, smaller, an A318, huh? <laughs> Alright, guys, so let's uh, do this. Cost index. Make it 11. And then we got 31,000. Temperature minus. 53 Climb winds are going to be 320 at 66 at minus 53 uh, 31,000 3-2-4 Mentally RS. Wind. Flight plan. Hey, what is... 297. Memory 30, right? And we'll do the Wollstone 7. So I'm gonna put the charts here now. Austin 7, Green Bay transition, then direct. The weather in Green Bay is a southern flow, so... Uh, we might have to do an RNAV runway 3-6, probably. Maybe 1-8. Runway 18. Alright, so yeah, we're just gonna put this here. Runway 18, no star, uh, no via. It's gonna be a free for all, not a free for all, but uh, we'll put the discontinuity here. Alright, the init, yeah. Um, our alternate is Milwaukee. Uh, runway 18, and then the alternate is going to be. Alternate is going to be shooed. Victor 217. BAE. Milwaukee. 198. Secondary flight plan in case we need to, uh, Go back. It's going to be ILS two zero, right? Approach so again, it's minus seven. 
three zero zero at four. Gear inches one uh, two hundred point eight eight. Then our ILS is going to be. One thousand and seventy-two. Okay. Red nav. We're gonna put the uh, Wollstone Seven here. It's gonna be the Gopher. Okay, actually, MSP first. And then GEP. The outbound rate less seventy-two. In it. So I'm going to save delta here, 62.9, oh wait, slash 45, 2.9, 6, 68.7, that's correct. Can we do flaps 1? We can. Perf, it's going to be 141, 141, 144, flaps 1 up 0 0.5, flexing 42, we'll do the packs off. Reduction acceleration, and it's going to accelerate quickly. So it's just going to be 800, 1650. 1650. Prog, it's going to be KMSP308. Alright, let's do the PA while we get the uh, pushbacker in place. Drive over the ground services. All right, let me do the PA. Ladies and gentlemen from Flagjack, welcome aboard uh, Delta Airlines Flight 2642, operated by Sky Blue Simulations. My name is uh, Drew, along with this amazing Minneapolis based cabin crew. Again, welcome aboard this flight. We'll be pushing back in maybe a few minutes, and uh, once we do start our engines, we'll be going to the runway uh, for takeoff. It should take about uh, 15 minutes for about number three for departure, it seems. And uh, once we're airborne, wheels up. Flight time about 47 minutes, cruising altitude of 31,000 feet, uh, down to Green Bay. We're expecting a smooth ride, so we'll have the seatbelts off as early as possible. Once the signs are off, continue to keep your seatbelts on and your mask on at all times for your safety and the safety of others. Sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight, we'll get back to you as you get closer into the Green Bay area or if there's any significant uh, events or delays in the flight. Once again from the flight tech, aboard this Delta Airlines flight, welcome aboard y'all. Cabin crew, doors for departure. All right. All right, ready for departure briefing? All right, let's do this. Uh, first of all, let's do this. Uh, Grab from cockpit, uh, remove external power, and uh, remove shocks. Roger. All right, here we go. So, Chronos are reset. QNH288 FD zone constraints. Snap 20. Speed dashes, heading dashes, heading VS 7000 set, VS dashes. Oxygen mask is assume tested. BFD reading climb blue, nav blue, and FD2 below 40 knots, 14 blue, 14 magenta, wings level indicating 820 feet, 7000 blue, cage 2988, heading and tracking 211, ground speed 0, present position, heading and tracking 211, VR1 hard tuned, Minneapolis, VR2 hard tuned, go for VR, pressure elevation auto 690 feet, status of the aircraft is normal. Departure briefing by the PM. Is it the CEO or the NEO? Uh, it's CEO, it's like a schnitzel. Um, I was going to take the Neo, but I feel like doing a CEO right now, so anyway. Alright, so we'll be taking runway 308 for departure, and our initial climb is 7000, the MSA for this procedure, according to the Wilson 7, 10-3 Mike, uh, 9th February 2018, confirm same charts. Alright, from the Wilson 7 departure, from the Ma Minneapolis VR MSA, north sector 3500, south sector 2800, our extra fuel will be uh, 22 minutes or 0 0.7 tons. All right, so um, what are we looking for here? We're parked here at Delta 4, if I'm not mistaken. I forgot. I mean, no, no, Charlie, 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 Charlie. Okay, we're parked here at Charlie 3 beside this 787 that did not spawn at the correct uh, gates. It should be at Gulf, fortunately. Yeah, okay, so Charlie 3. Uh, we'll be pushing back expected or straight push to Quebec. We'll do a uh, one engine taxi uh, initially. Um, if we see that the runway is clear, we'll start the second engine and NTS off. So then we'll be taking off runway 30 right, full length. Stop margin is sufficient uh, according to the ISCS for our flaps one takeoff and. Uh, let me call this now. 
Uh, no hot spots on the taxi, by the way. We'll do a static takeoff with the uh, pack self. If we need to encounter a problem, we can go back to Minneapolis, runway 308. If it's land ASAP, make a right down in runway 308. If ever Minneapolis is closed, we can uh, go north to Duluth as our takeoff alternate. And then any DP2 for departure. And uh, autopilot will be on at the latest 10,000 feet above aerodrome level. Alright, so um, any threats you'd like to point out? Um, we're pretty much familiar with the airport, so no problems there. No hotspots, just some uh, intersections that should not be uh, a factor. Uh, it's a delta hub, so a lot of con uh, could be frequency congestion and a lot of similar call signs on frequency. We need to be vigilant with our call sign, Delta 2642. Possible icing conditions and effects, so remember to get the anti-ice and wing anti-ice on in case we see any visual moisture. All right, um, and again, uh, if the line is pretty long, we'll keep the one in the taxi. If the line is short, we'll start the second engine. All right, that's it. That's our departure briefing. Cockpit preparation checklist, gear pins and covers, remove fuel quantity, 6,000 kilograms balanced, seat belts uh, on, eight ears. Uh, let's see here. Eight ears. Nav. Barref QNH 2988. 2988.88. Cockpit preparation checklist complete. Okay, for. Vats uh, and purposes will squawk mode, Charlie. And let's go ahead and do 1 to 1 decimal niner. Minneapolis ground, hello, Delta 2642, information kilo at the Charlie Gates, request push and start. Push on to Quebec approved, Delta 2642. Okay, come on. Slides are out, just a little parking break. On. Okay, before start, uh, Checklist, park and brake on, takeoff speeds and thrust, V1141, VR141, V2144, flex 42. Uh, windows closed, beacon on, uh, first start check. Uh, Grab from cockpit, clear for push, cockpit, facing uh, east. Roger. Uh, terminal, terminal one, Roger. You can do this. Right, I need a straight push. I mean, I need a push facing there. Make sure he's ready for push. Start and push back, make sure to start all engines. Roger. We're clear to start all engines, right after that. Uh, Grab for cockpit, we'll be starting one. Roger, clear to start one. Yeah, sure. This guy. So you come across as very capable. Are you a pilot in real life or do you work around in aviation? I am involved in avi- All I can tell you right now, sucking schnitzel, is that I am involved in aviation in some way. Without getting in too much into detail, that's all I'm gonna say. I don't want to talk about myself too much, but yeah. Uh, thanks, uh, I, I take that as a compliment. Thank you so much, man. I also have, um, well, here's what I can tell you. I'm also a part of a group of people, a community on uh, a Discord, uh, that practices real-life, you know, Airbus procedures in flight sim. So I'm glad to be part of that group as well. Uh, you might have or might have not heard it's called Sputnik Aviation. It's also a virtual airline. Um, it's Philippine based. So most of the members are from the Philippines, but you got f just a few members from around the world as well. All right, let's go ahead and start uh, engine one. Grand for cockpit, starting one now. Roger, engine will select your ignition. No amber crosses. Leader on the left. Oh, wait. Sorry, leader. Uh, on the left side, engine one, master switch on. Oh, it looks like a clear. It's clear. So yeah, we can start the second engine. But yeah, uh, right now, second schnitzel, as I stream, I am a sim pilot. Right now, as I stream. <laughs> More than other. Oh, yeah. 
You knew we were under Airbus. Uh, more or less. Brakes, set pressure up. I mean, it's also part of this group that I joined, so you know. I'm, I'm glad to be part of Sputnik Aviation, that's all I gotta say. Engine, what's up? Mr. Norm, yellow elect pump pong, cross bleed open, APU bleed off. Uh, pop monitoring flow, arm spoilers, reset rudder trim, flaps one. Flaps. Alright, we're gonna clear the set, can signals on right. More than others, yeah, yeah. Uh, I understand, man. I, 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 I understood your English, don't worry. <laughs> And signals and pins are received after start checklist. Okay, confirmed. Not sure about this trim set. Negative. Cool. Anti-ice, engine soft, wings off, ECAM status, uh, check, window, uh, traction. Pitch trim, 26.5%. Rudder trim neutral after start checklist complete. We'll start the second engine right away once we move, alright? Nope, let's go on Delta 2642, request taxi. Three zero eight via Papa Delta twenty six forty two. Okay, clear left side, clear right side. Let's get on Papa first, and then let's uh, start the second engine. Break off. We'll do the brakes check. Actually, let's uh, yeah. Let's just start our engine while we do this. Brakes check. Pressure zero. Start engine two. Start engine two. Mm -hmm. Pump off. APU bleed on. Okay, engine most sector ignition. No amber crosses. Bleeder right side. Engine two. Master switch on. It's a pretty short taxi, holy crap. Okay, Porsche for Grizzly's 124.7, we're good. We left side, clear outside, passing Papa 4. There we go. Chin one selector norm. Bleed open, AP bleed off, AP switch off. Okay, after start checklist again, anti ice, engine soft wings off, ECAM status check. Pitch trim 26.5%, rudder trim neutral. After start checklist, be clear left side, clear right side, flight controls check. Pull up, pull down, neutral, full left, full right, neutral, rudder, full left. Full right. Monitor, tower, one, two, three, point, nine, or five. Monitor, one, two, three, point, nine, or five, delta, six, forty-two. Okay, take off confirmation briefing, uh, 7,000 initially, army 3, 0, right, Wilson 7, departure, squawking 4554, checked. Mm 
Confirm report. Taxi checklist. Flight control checked. Check. Five setting config. One plus F. Config one plus F. Right on predict for wind shear. On and auto. And general selector norm. ECAM MO. Take off. No blue. Taxi checklist complete. Cabin crew. Seats for takeoff. Sorry, autocorrect clumsy fingers. Hey, it's okay, man. I understood, and I don't judge anyway. Let's see if I can make a uh, left wind. Runway three zero right confirm. Three zero right confirm. Right. Let's turn this left. Number three is right, clear for takeoff, dollar twenty six forty two. Yes, Joe Bunch. Wait, what's the frequency? One two four point seven. Approach. Uh six mile final. Uh vis traffic on visual, clear for takeoff and run me clear. Lineup checklist. Okay. Uh, lineup checklist. Take off runway three zero right, three zero right. TCAST TA packs one and two. Off. Lineup check is complete. Take off. Manflex 42 SRS runway auto trust blue. Nav. Nav. Check. Pull heading. Pull heading. Pull heading, knob. Check. Right heading 340, contact departure, Delta 2642. See ya. Thrust climb, woman climb, all blue, auto thrust. Back to on. Oops. High workload. Radio altimeter ready. Minneapolis departure. Hello, Delta twenty six forty two three thousand climbing seven thousand. I maintain one seven thousand. Turn right direct to uh, nine and. Resumed as Wilson 7 departure, Delta 2642. Flap 0. Speed check. Flaps up. That was a high workload event. Wow, holy crap, we did it. That was really high workload, holy crap.
Autopilot one on. Autopilot switched on. AP one. Twenty six forty two contact in the Apple Center one three three point four five. One three three point four five Delta twenty six forty two. See ya. Everyone's on the tango. I should expect Alex to bring three two approach. One five thousand. The Eau Claire altimeter is two nine eight three. Two nine eight three one five thousand. Naples Center, hello, Delta 2642, 8,500, climbing 1, 7,000. Delta 2642, Minneapolis Center, climb and maintain level 310. Climb and maintain level 310, Delta 2642. 31,000 set, 31,000 blue, check. And, uh, we're still a bit, uh, in turbulence, so let's not do anything. Stand by. Airport elevation 700, we can't do anything yet. Uh, ladies and gentlemen from the flight deck, we apologize. Uh, looks like there was some unexpected rough air after all on departure. We'll keep the uh, seatbelts on until uh, the uh, turbulence stops and we're sure that for the, uh, you know, ahead of our route is going to be a smooth flight. Again, for your safety, keep your seatbelts on. Thank you. Okay, 10,000 foot flow, landing lights are tracked, seatbelts uh, uh, seat on, rather. And... Let's see here. Clear right now, copy secondary read product. Alright, at this point, I think I'm also gonna set the winds. Wollstone. Okay, Wollstone is three, two, one at sixty-five. GRB, it's gonna be three, two, zero at seventy-nine. Really now. Wait, what's our five thousand feet? What's the airport elevation in GRB? Delta 2376, maintain, uh, are you able to do 250 knots at 5340? Yeah, we can do 250, Delta 2376. Delta 2376, maintain 250, Delta 2377, four, uh, spacing, flighting 3, 4, 0. American 2846, what's your indicator there, speed? Stand by. Let me just check uh, this. Speed and knots. Okay. 1,500 plus 7 should be at 2,000 to me. Okay, our descent win then will be... let's see here. 320 at 70. Okay, pull standard, standard set, pulse check, passing, passing level 182. Yeah. Now check difference of minus 20 on my side. Roger. Three two eight at thirty nine one zero thousand. Okay. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
So let me just put a nice top of the center ring here. KGRB on A. Uh, the radius is going to be 393, 103, 104, minus 301. Hopefully, our top of descent is quite near. Okay, that's that should be good enough. Number five, Echo Charlie, contact Minneapolis approach one two four point seven. All right, let me clear out the charts. It's windy, all right. In Munich, we had one busted gear and one damaged braking system. Wow, due to windy landing conditions, we had some plonkers today. Really, now. Is it usually uh, windy in in München at this uh, at this time of year? Uh, I've never been there. Green Bay, Wisconsin. Minneapolis, let's see what I can do. Alright. Alright, I'll pretend to hand the controls to my uh, pilot monitoring. First climb, weapon climb, all blue nav. Put level 310, uh, put level 226 to come level 310, standard. My controls are comms, okay. A big storm came across Germany today. 17 knots gusting up to 86. Wow! Wait, so what are the what what are the winds in uh, in München then? What are the winds in München? Or was or was München reporting 17 knots? Like holy crap! So what's what's really bad about it is that you know like in the Airbus uh, the maximum crosswind that it can take is about 38 knots. It's really intense. Fifty six knots. Holy crap. Holy crap, no way. Dude, I don't think I can do that. <laughs> I mean, here's the thing. That's true, that's true, Schnitzel. It's the demonstrated max. They can do more than that, but not many would try. Not many would try. Maybe... Maybe some aircraft have been certified for more than 38, uh, depending on the MSN. Yeah, I mean, the family of Airbus, uh, A320, uh, A320 is 38, yeah, that's true. Unless, basically, if someone can demonstrate uh, landing it uh, more than 38, then yeah. <laughs> but safely, that's what we don't know. Can they do it safely? But hey, man. This is aviation, so many uncertainties. And it's it's just awesome, that's all I gotta say. Yeah, basically, uh, demonstrate. So if they demonstrate, yeah, there we go. If they demonstrate they can do it better, alright then. It's your call. Alright, let me just uh, get my landing, uh, my landing distance done here. Let me just calculate it. So my, my gross weight is now 67.6 .6 tons. Fuel of 4.7. At destination 3.9, we'll be losing about 0.8. So 60... Um, uh, 66.8 is going to be our landing weight. So... 66.8. So that's going to be minus 120. Minus 120 meters. 
Um, and landing distance. It's a pretty. It's not a short Charlie runway. Let's see. If we have to vacate at Mike 4, 1,500, really now. Now minus 120, so that's going to be 1,360. We'll base it off from there. Fantastic three hundred and sixty one thousand four hundred and ten less than four hundred three seventy six turn direct killer. Alright, turn direct killer down twenty three seventy six. Okay. Appreciate the help. So one thousand four hundred and twenty check. Yeah, medium auto brakes and mic four. So I'm right now. I'm looking for. Uh, I'm trying to calculate my landing distance. So we'll see about that. All right, we're good. We're good. I think we should be fine. The same goes. We're gonna go like delta. Uh, the problem is if we have a five knot crosswind. What is the weather now in the Green Bay? Uh, tailwind. Tailwind rather. Yeah, we get a five knot tailwind. Uh, it's easily. Uh, Walker 1170, the killer three, runway three at zero, left. Just maintain that killer 50 knots. 1570, the killer three. It's the same thing. Alright. Called star, I'll please. Killer 250, killer slow, delta Alright, uh, we need to prepare for the approach now, so stand by. I wonder what we tested with 60 knots in Antarctica. I wonder why the 60 didn't make it in DFCOM. Uh, I'm I'm gonna say, I'm gonna assume Schnitzel, it's, uh, it's, uh, what do you call this? I guess when they did it, maybe trials? It, it, it wasn't done... Palace discretion, descend maintain 1, 6, 000, uh, delta 26, 42. I wonder why the 60 didn't make it in the FCOM. I'm not too sure. Probably because when they tested it, no one can <laughs> land safely consistently. I think it's the consistency. If they can land consistent, consistently, um, I think they're not uh, they're not going to do much by putting 60 knots. So like maybe 38 is consistently safe. Yeah, it's showing off, I know, right? Showing off safely. <laughs> okay, and it be favor. So we'll do the RNAV 1.8, but uh, we'll see what can happen. It can be the ILS 1.8, but who knows? Yeah, I know, right? I know. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Okay, hold on. There's only one approach here in Green Bay. Uh, we can land with a tailwind component if we have to, but just in case, we can do, you know, this one as well. Yeah, okay. Radnav. Um, well, I'll take whatever they give us. Runway 36 would be better because um, it gets us to the gate faster. And it's uh, the maximum tailwind component here is 10 knots. If we landed from the south, it would be 7 knots. So, yeah, we're within the limits. We're still within the limits. We're good. Okay, we'll send me the killer 3 arrival from runway 20 left. 30 left. 30 left. Sorry, could you repeat that for me, please? So, 2611, killer 3, runway 30 left. Okay, we'll just send the killer three arrival for runway 30 left and we'll get the units ourselves. Thank you. American T96, proceed direct to the Eau Claire, VOR, Echo Alpha Uniform. Prague, it's going to be KGRB18. Could you repeat the name of it?
H is two nine point eight eight minus seven. Seven American two nine six. You repeat the name of the VOR. Oh wait, no, that's wrong. Two nine eight point two nine eight point eight nine er rather. Temperature is minus yeah. six, minus six. And two one zero at seven. Hey, you're like ninety degrees off course. That's why I'm making sure you're headed that way. Well now V nav, we'll put one one eight seven. Walker eleven zero eight seven eighteen seven thousand. Seven thousand walker. Okay, second day flight plan. Walker eleven zero eight. I'm gonna have one more. We can do ILS three six. And then from GRB. Sun Country 3059, Minneapolis approach 135.47. Really, that's our second what? Sun Country 3059, Minneapolis on 135.47. Okay, start the descent. Uh, descent, all blue, flight level 160 blue, checked. Nice star, no via trans. Okay, so we have the ILS secondary loaded. Just in case, runway 36, depending on what they want us to do. Uh, 884. Again, it's gonna be uh, full and the medium auto brakes. Uh, 2642, when you know it, just let me know which runway you want in the green bay. Uh, we'll let you know in a few minutes, Delta 2642. We can take a visual from Nisco. Yeah, we can take runway one eight. I don't want to, you know, get the ta the you know get the tailwind out from me. So. Walker 11 0 8 fighting 360 and uh, expect twins. 360 Walker 11 Where is Dobby? Let's see. It'll probably be on that heading for maybe two minutes. That's fine, thanks. United 1207 descend to via the Killer 3, runway 30 left to Minneapolis, I'll tell you there's 298. And we'll take the RNA of 18 from Dobby. Let's get some wind shear alerts up in here. <laughs> uh, sure, you know what? We can do that on stream. We'll see. Um, if I'm not too lazy to set up the alerts. Uh, Delta 2642 will request the RNAV runway uh, 18 to Green Bay from uh, initial approach fix DOBD. Alright, you're quick direct to the DOBD intersection. Alright, direct DOBD. Thank you, Delta 2642. Seatbelts off. It's it's when we descend now the seatbelts come off. All right, let's go direct to Dobby. Actually, let me just uh, get the RNAV runway one eight approach via Wovet. But we'll take the approach from Dobby. Do the beam points confirm a fair. There you go. What's your current indicated airspeed? Uh, indicated Dobby. is about. Alright, uh, let's do an arrival briefing. So, LNAV VNAV. Alright, uh, pod monitoring, why don't you take us out first? Wow. All right, the Mora uh, along our route, 3,600 is the highest, and then the MSA for the RNAV runway 18 is 3,100 from the runway 18 threshold. RNAV GPS runway 18 chart 12-2, 11 June 2021, effective 17th June. So we'll uh, take the approach from Dob D, initial approach fix. No procedure turn will be required. 
and uh, final descent point will be from Fabry. We'll do a fully. Oh wait. Oh no, sorry. Uh, I'm not supposed to say that, aren't I? Um, Pappy, right side, runway and indicator lights. If you don't see the runway environment or uh, these lights, the missed approach is climb to 2,500, direct Senna and hold. And our extra fuel is 38 minutes or 1.3 tons. Okay, so right now we'll be. Um, I'll call this. On the approach, we'll do a fully managed accelerated approach to be. Um, Fully configured, 1,000 feet at VAP, config full, and if we can, auto thrust off. Heading VS mode all the way, but in case I'm dissatisfied with the, per the performance of the FDs, I'll uh, command bird on and FDs off on this uh, 3 degree descent, and the runway heading will be 182. Runway 18, we got the pappies of 3 degrees set up, the angle of 3 degrees. So, uh, we'll be using max reverse and outbreak medium. Landing distance available has been calculated uh, for mic 4, but if we can, we can go to mic 5. So, mic 4, left mic. Uh, no hot spots, but there is a runway uh, risk of runway incursion here, crossing uh, runway 06. And then either uh, delta mic alpha, delta Juliet, and then or delta, delta 3 to the. Parking. It doesn't say what the parking is, but we're going to be parking here the Bravo Gates. It's uh, somewhere here. Um, the weather looks pretty good as well as the forecast, so if we have to do another missed approach, we can do it uh, maybe three times for 39 minutes. 39 minutes. And our diversion will be Milwaukee, reporting good weather as well as just a short flight to the south. Okay, any threats? This is my first time landing to Green Bay. I will... Pals discretion 5000, Delta 2642. <clears throat> okay, um, also... Yeah, threats. My first time in Green Bay. I'm not familiar with the airport. I uh, need to familiarize with the lay layout using the uh, charts and make sure that we're on the correct RNAV final approach course and the runway heading as well. Um, I am a one... Uh, I am a one-man crew, so I might be bombarded with workload. I need to take things uh, clearly, uh, slowly, so that everything will be clear as well. Um, what else? With regards to procedures... There's a chance of icing. Actually, it's icing conditions. So once we, you know, go just before the clouds, we'll do engine and uh, wing anti-ice on, and then we'll have anti-ice all the way down to Walker landing. 11, zero, approach, one, three, five, point, four, okay, um, miscellaneous. Not much. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's our uh, arrival briefing. Okay. Whew. Oh, by the way, Schnitzel, yeah, I know you're from Germany, so um, in my free time, I use Duolingo to learn a bit of German, so uh, uh, let's see, I'm not really good at my German. Ich spreche Deutsch, aber bisschen. If that made any sense to you, Schnitzel. Ich spreche Deutsch aber bisch, bisschen? A bit of German, right? Or aber ich spreche bisschen Deutsch, rather. Sorry. What I wanted to say is it's either I speak a little German or I speak German but a little German. So, I don't know. I think it's much more push. Why German, though? It, it does. I uh, don't know. Uh, I, I got bored. I got bored. <laughs> yeah, wait. Ich spreche bisschen Deutsch. Yeah. Yeah, I speak a little bit of German. I don't know how to say I speak German, but only a little bit. So, do you put like aber bisschen on the, uh, on the end? Yeah. I don't know. 
Ah, past transition out, uh, level. I'm sorry, I've just got a 2989er. Uh, right, not a cross check, passing 1 6,000. No, check, no difference. I got you, I learned Spanish that way, really. Duolingo? Dude. It's nice. Um, I don't know, I like... Like, during the pandemic, I was like, I should pick up a third language. I speak English and Filipino, right? And I was like, maybe I should learn something else. German, maybe? I don't know. Aber nur ein bisschen. Okay, so... So is it uh, Ich spreche Deutsch, aber nur ein bisschen? Is that it? I speak German, but only a little bit. Aber means but, nur means only, ein, a bit, and then a, then bisschen is like a, a bit of German. Perfect. Ah, okay, thank you. I'm learning. I'm learning. Vielen danke. Vielen danke. Yeah. But I'm not going to turn this into a German stream because <laughs> it's just going to be an English Filipino stream because I'm not I'm not too good yet. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Deutsch ist nicht einfach. If I pronounce that correctly. I mean, it's similar to like English in terms of like the structure, but uh, nicht einfach. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, dude. Well, I mean, if you're not a native speaker, then yeah, it's not easy. Deutsch ist nicht einfach. It, it, so, Duolingo, right? You know how Duolingo has like, um, um, they have these weird phrases that you can't use in normal conversation. So like, I learned like, der Bär and die Maus brauchen eine Wohnung. So the bear and the mouse need an apartment. So why does the bear and the mouse yeah, need an apartment? I know one doing what the hell. Uh, uh, no, no, the bear, and, the bear and the mouse. It's like a comedy show. <laughs> it has some weird phrases, man. But it's easy to like swap it in. Like so, like uh, you can say, uh, "Der Mann und die Frau uh, brauchen eine Wohnung." Okay, you can swap it. E you can swap it in easy engine and wing anti ice on. Yeah, yeah. All right, guys, we are near Dobdy. And uh, let me just put my uh, times here. Delta twenty six forty two cross. Dobby at the 3000. Cleared RNAV runway 18 approach. Cross Dobby at 3000. Cleared RNAV runway 18 approach. Delta 2642. Yeah. I'm going to put something here. So, RNAV KGRB 18 Dobby. The weird stuff about German, it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I know, right? Now, are you saying like in Duolingo or in general? Like the German language in general? Okay, let's cross the DOM B at 3000. We'll put it as a hard constraint. Okay, speed VS. Der di oh dude, no! You had to mention der di das, it's madness. And then sometimes you have to put den, so like, uh, if it's... Thrust idle descent, all blue 3000, blue, uh, stand by, let me talk to you about that later. Wings on, landing lights on, seat belts on, uh, constraints. Approach checklist Delta after park. Uh, GPS primary, actually high. 
Approach checklist. Uh, Vera Ref, QNH 2989 er Seatbelts on. Minimum. MD1187. Auto brake medium. And general selector. No approach check is complete. Yes, the dirty does. I, dude, I don't know anyone who doesn't have a hard time with that. It doesn't have a hard time with it. Who doesn't have a hard time with their D and does. Also, um, you know how they say den? Like, say den tish or den apfel? Sometimes, sometimes it, it, uh, it gets you, right? And then when you say, when you have to negate it, so dine, dine, dinen, it's that. I graduated with a D in German and I'm German, so yeah. Dude. I'm looking at the comments in the Duolingo, right? So some of them are German native speakers and they say, hey, it's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. You can't do anything about that. You know, why is it their Apfel and not the Apfel? Just because. Just because. What? <laughs> Just because. Right? You need to know if it starts with their dear does. Uh. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Deutsch is the. Yeah, how do you say it's it's difficult? I learned that Deutsch is the schwer. Schwer. I'm not sure. Because reasons. <laughs> oh God. At least in English, it's just the. <laughs> it's just the. Yeah, let's see, let's see. Oh, God. Oh, crap. So right now, um, on Duolingo, I have uh, the topic is apartments. So we're learning things like uh, tish, table, schreib tish, desk, uh, tepish. I think that's rug or carpet. Then you got shrank, and closet, and all of that. It's it's just. <laughs> A lot to take out. It's lot. It's a lot to take. Okay. It's also. I, I guess this also goes with a lot of languages. I'm amazed that desk is called schreibtisch. A four-letter word becomes a. Uh, I can't count the letters. Is it ten? S c h r e i b t i s c a. It's twelve letters. So a desk for four letters becomes a schreibtisch of twelve letters. Holy crap. That's one of the funniest things about German that I that I noticed. Schwer, yeah. Okay, so difficult means schwer. <sighs> All right. All right. So we're at Dobby. Oh, let's do a P. Ladies and gentlemen from the flight tech, your uh, crew speaking. We've started our approach into the Green Bay area, and we should be touching down in about. Uh, um. About 10 minutes, or 5 minutes rather. Weather formation in Green Bay. We've got some overcast clouds. Uh, good visibility though, so it should be no problem for us. Temperature is negative 6 Celsius. And we'll be about 5 minutes out of schedule. Again, we'd like to thank you for choosing Delta Airlines of your airline of choice. Heading into uh, Green Bay today, operated by Sky Blue Simulations. Whether transiting through our final destination is Green Bay, we wish you a safe and pleasant journey. So sit back, relax, enjoy the rest of the flight, keep your seatbelts on and mask on at all times. Once again from the flight tech, we hope to see you get another Delta Airlines flight, but until then, we'll see you. Cabin crew, prepare the cabin for arrival, please. Alright. So let's concentrate on this a bit. Actually, I don't think there's anything below this altitude now, so we can do wing it off and engine it. Yes. Okay. American 2500. Check. Check our life. One thing I don't know is uh, airport terminology. So I know like uh, Flugplatz. I think that's airport. I don't know what airplane is. Flug yeah, I don't. I don't know what airplane is. I don't know what runway or taxi is. 
but I feel like I should learn it. <laughs> I feel like I should learn it. I don't know. Flugzeug. Oh, okay. All right, I'm learning. I'm learning on this stream. <laughs> Thank you. Vielen Dank, uh, Schnitzel. Vielen Dank. All right, let's concentrate first. All right, arm the approach. Speed, final approach. Okay, 2,400. Uh, what runway are we going to be expecting for approach? American 296, I honestly uh, am not entirely sure what they're going to give you. Flaps yeah, uh, 1. Speed check. Flaps 1. Radio altimeter ready. Check. Uh, Roger. Performing procedure. It's most likely going to be 3 zero. Is zero right, thank you. Delta 2642, 5 mile, final Green Bay. 2642, runway 1A, Cleveland. Runway 1A, Cleveland, Delta 2642. Hunter, Delta 515, descent to defense. Delta 515, I gave you a descent. 2500. Descent via the arrival. Uh-oh. Roger, Roger, Delta 515. Flaps 2. Delta 515, just started descent, follow the... Uh, you down? Roger, Delta 5, Delta 5, Delta 5, Delta 5, Flaps full. Speed check. Flaps full. Okay, lining checklist. Yep. Eka memo, lining no blue. Landing checklist. Landing here. Cancel checklist. Yes. Lovely. Checklist reading is cancelled. Fast. Delta fifteen zero nine. Uh, One thousand feet above the ground. Check the last. One eight two. One five. Stabilized. Disconnecting autopilot. Manual flight. Off for stop. You have yet to reply, Commander. Flaps. Cancel checklist. Set. E cap memo. Set. Landing no blue. Auto throttle. Set. Hundred above. Landing checklist complete. Check. No. Five hundred. <coughs> Five hundred feet. Check. Minimum. Continue.
Center line. Touchdown zone. Reverse recital. Four idle. Mantle breaking. Exit left enable, Mike cross runway 24, then parking, Delta 2642. See ya. See ya. 1.5, really? Oh, whatever. Right side, play left side. We did a good landing, actually. Wow. Okay, we'll keep the strobe lights on because we'll be crossing runway, so landing lights are off, landing lights off as well. Some spoilers. Off. Woo! Wunderbar! Start APU, start APU. After landing checklist, radar predictor wind shear. Off. After landing check is complete. Shinshul, what does that mean? What does uh, gut gemacht mean? And did I pronounce it correctly? Gut gemacht? <clears throat> like... It, I don't know, like, I feel like in German it sounds like uh, people are gonna spit. So it's like gemacht. Gemacht? Gemacht? Like machs du? Uh, crossing two four. Left side, clear right side. Well done. Okay. Oh, danke, danke. Okay. Um, then clear of the runway. Strobe light auto. Let's slow down. I'm in front of the airport. To Juliet. We've got the gates over there. We'll be parking at this gate. It's just right there. And brakes are hot. We're returning to the gate. Brake fan on. Actually, wait, I did not put up uh, the SAM for the scenery yet. Hold on. There we go. Marshal in sight. Turn off. Off, pressure up, AP bleed on, engine one and two off. American 296, descend upon discretion, cross twins at 7,000, the Minneapolis altimeter is 29 or 89. Cabin crew, doors travel, cross check, my flow, beacon light is off. Slide the arm, seatbelts off, grab the cockpit, set shocks, and connect to power. Left flow, flow, uh, monitoring flow, rather. Stand by, 2000. 
Parking checklist, parking breaker chocks, chalk set, engines off, wing lights off, fuel bumps off, parking checklist complete. Alright guys, welcome to Green Bay. Center, no we're not center line on the parking, but at least we did well on the landing. So we'll disconnect from Vatsim, we will go ahead and uh, end the flight, and we will review our flight. Yes. We had a good landing, 1.23 Gs it says, so replay mode, and let's check. I think we did well. Ah. Um, the departure out of Minneapolis was pretty tough because uh, we were assigned to heading on departure. Whew. All right, let's take a look at this landing. Wow. That was pretty good. No unnecessary floats and it wasn't a slammer. It wasn't a butter. It was not a butter. There you go. Just a nice positive landing. Center line. That was precision. I know, right? N none of these, uh, none of these butter landings that you see. Uh, there we go. Wow, that 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 looks great. It's it looks like something you'd watch when plane spotting, you know, like uh, those continuous descents. They're not floating. Look at that. Wow. Hey, I'm I'm impressed with this one. I'm impressed with my own landing. That seems so uh, conceited of me. I'm impressed with my landing. But yes. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that was great. No float, no bounce. It was perfect. Yep. These are the landings that I like. No floats, no bounce. And look at the look at the D crab. I want to see it from this from this uh, view. Look at that. Hey, look at this. It was center line all the way. We slammed, we sliced it down the middle. Sliced it down the middle, except when we uh, had to decrab. But it's okay. Let's take a look at the uh, the cabin view. Did the passengers enjoy that? Ah, ist the uh, ist aufregend. Yeah. Yeah. Wunderbar, wunderbar, ja, ja, ja. Ja. Es ist sehr wunderbar. Yes. Okay. This is gonna be my last, uh. Let's see here. Okay, my last replay is gonna be this view. Alright, so, you know, to those who uh, drop by the stream or lurking. Thanks for stopping by. To those who will be watching the review play, guys, thank you so much for uh, you know the support. Uh, sucking schnitzel, danke uh, schön, and uh, you know um, how do you say it? Bisbald, bisbald. Thank you for the support, uh, schnitzel, and thank you for the lesson. Yep. See you next time. Bis bis später later. Bis morgen is tomorrow. Bisbald is soon. Bisbald. Okay. Anyway. Alright guys, my name is Sky Blue, aka Drew. Until next time, see you.